終わりだ What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are continuing the Omnibus vs. Z Ichibancho set with probably the most anticipated figure in the entire set. It's another King Cluster, that's right there are two King Clusters in this set and another giant figure that we'll do at the end. Um, it's the legendary Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Z. So I don't think we've gotten a Master Lee's or definitely not a King Cluster. Uh, of this version of Broly. I believe this is the most popular version of Broly. More people know him, he was around for longer. I prefer the Dragon Ball Super Broly uh, video, um, version of the character, but I really do uh, love Broly just in his entirety. So I was super excited that they made a King Cluster version of this figure, and a lot of people have been posting pictures. I'm sure a lot of you in the comments have already gotten him. The DBZ Collector, who was the reason I actually started making these videos, he made a video of this, an extensive one, a few weeks back, and uh, it was just, it, it's just a freaking awesome figure. Um, last time we did the uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta, that's part of the set, you can uh, check that out up in the card above. But today, we are gonna focus on this figure, so like always, we'll take a look at the box, do some size comparisons and scaling for the figure, and then give our final thoughts at the end and rate it out of seven Dragon Balls. I can't believe we're getting another King Cluster figure so soon. And within the same set, Broly is a popular character and it's about time his premiere form got the recognition it deserves. I'm more of a DBS Broly fan, but love and need the representation for Broly's other forms and iterations. Will this figure live up to the hype? Let's find out. This figure is based on Broly in his legendary Super Saiyan form while fighting Goku and his friends in the Dragon Ball Z film, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. This pose seems to be based on Broly launching his most powerful technique, the Omega Blaster, as seen here. He does this move in the first film, but this figure seems based primarily on his second film during his fight with Gohan and Goten. There have been SH figure arts and smaller, less detailed Ichibanshos of this figure in the past, but never a King Cluster. It's truly deserving of a form as massive as Broly's legendary Super Saiyan. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at about 12 inches tall.
This figure comes whole other than his foot support. He can stand up without the support around his foot, but it doesn't take space and I don't want to lose it, so I personally suggest keeping it on. Like other King Cluster figures, this one is huge. I'm glad they decided to have this form in a King Cluster, as he's always shown as a massive sized iteration of Broly. Even next to other King Cluster Brolies, he seems that much bigger because of the huge build his body has. I recently reviewed the other King Cluster in this Ichibancho, and everything about this figure blows it out of the water. The sculpt is absolute perfection. Everything from how detailed his muscles are, to the sculpt of his hair, which was definitely handled with care. The paint application really pops on this figure. His sash is colored a little too light, but it's not too big of a deal, plus looks great here. His necklace, braces, and boots are all painted with a golden gloss to emulate it being jewelry. He is shading all over as well. His skin has shading in between all of his muscle fibers, there's a mix of grays on his pants, and his hair is different greens to make this figure have a ton of depth. Finally, his likeness was captured perfectly. Broly looks exactly as he does in the anime. Overall, this is another perfect figure. This Ichiban show didn't start off too hot for me, but this is one of the best Dragon Ball figures ever. It's not my absolute favorite in my collection, but definitely the best King Cluster figure and has already trumped my last Broly as my new favorite Broly figure. I'm giving this one a strong 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and check my description for where I bought this figure. I also have a Patreon that with just $1 a month you can support my channel and its weekly content. If you like more figure comparisons, please add my Instagram in the description and send me a message. Till next time, later.